Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Please subscribe below if you enjoy videos where I review hair products, makeup products, etc, etc. Um, yeah, so today I'm excited. Well, I'm not excited to be going on camera once again with no makeup, but I wanted to try from Tatsy Beauty this wonderful makeup applicator that I just got and purchased. So um, yeah, Tati and everyone knows I'm sure, she is a YouTuber, a huge YouTuber, and she has a line of vitamins, supplements, etc. And she did come out recently with an eyeshadow palette that looks gorgeous. I kind of feel like I missed that opportunity to try that out, so I want to try this makeup applicator because I feel like this is something I would definitely really like, and let's just open it up for a second. So you get this one size here, which is the larger, and then you get a tiny little one that you can carry with you, maybe put in your bag and whatnot. Um, but I gotta tell you, like looking at this, you wouldn't think that this, like I love, I love using the beauty blender. I use brushes that kind of go back and forth. Um, and honestly, I use my hands a lot to, to apply makeup. I feel like that just looks the most natural. But I'm curious to try this. It, you can bend it to get into certain spots. You know, it doesn't soak in, which you really would think like, does it? So I've seen reviews from other big YouTubers who, and it came out gorgeous, beautiful. So little old me wants to try it because um, yeah, like I'm, I'm not putting a ton of makeup on like most YouTubers, um, you know, who are in the spotlight more, I'm just going to work. So I wonder how this works for mostly the everyday person and I'm excited to try this. So I'm going to do the full face um, using this product and I guess I'll play around with this. So let's just get right into this. Okay, so I'm going to put my hair back just a little bit just to kind of get it off my face. Okay. Okay, so actually what I did also want to um, show is, because I'm like, when am I going to show this product? I don't want to do just a whole video on this alone, but I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand, and I was really curious to try this because it's like a glow that you put underneath. You can put it under your foundation, you can mix it with your foundation, which I was first putting it underneath, and then I started mixing it, and I just like it. It gives that little extra glow to your skin. I'm all about glowy skin, and um, yeah, it does come with a little sponge on the bottom but I don't use that and this is not about this so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna also use my Estee Lauder double wear foundation so let's just start with that first okay so what I'm gonna do I'm kind of nervous to use this I don't want to like mess it up but <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put I'm gonna I usually put it right on my face should I do that I'll just do that I'll do it how I usually do it right that's what I should be doing I don't overdo things. I really like this. Okay, so this isn't really a primer. I don't really use primer, so let's skip in that part. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my hand. I just spilled that. Actually, I'm gonna keep it, I might use it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna Start this way. Oh, okay. Should I start that way? I'm gonna use this corner. We'll start with that. I gotta be careful. I'm like tripping this over. Okay, here we go. And it says, it says. So it says on the website, and I did watch Tati's review where you kind of she's gliding it on, which I don't know. It just seems crazy, right? Here's the product on the applicator. And it's not supposed to be sucking it in, so here we go, here we go. Okay. I want to get a mirror up close for myself, too. Because I would think that this, like, would show the little brushes, not the brushes, but the little lines from the applicator. I think it is, though. Let me see. Because, like, Tati does wear a lot of makeup, but, you know, for what she does, it kind of makes sense. So I want to see if this is for like an everyday person. I've 
seen people do this. Oh my god, that glow thing is amazing. It's really not wiping it away. Like I feel like I would have felt like this is just gonna constantly wipe it off eventually and I'm gonna have nothing on my face. But it's really not. So this is half of my face done. Looks really nice. It did not wipe it away. It's still there. It's, it didn't soak it up. I'm not wasting any product. I will say that. So let's go in. Oh my God, it's dripping off. Let's go in and put it on the other side. I hope my mirror is not messing up the lighting. Maybe I shouldn't have put lipstick on. Can't go my lips. Hmm. Really? I mean, there's definitely, I'm gonna put a little more. There's no lines, like you know when you use a brush to, app, to apply your foundation and it has like streaks and lines? There's none of that. So I'm just gonna put a little more because I spilled it, so why waste it? Definitely very easy. I can fold it like that. That's the whole point of this applicator so that you can get into those spots. I'm like using my finger here to kind of push it in. Pat it in, whatever you like. I think it looks good. I am curious to try this all different foundations though, but honestly, this looks flawless. It looks beautiful. And I, again, like I feel like you have to try it with all different foundations because that could be a part of how it comes out as well. But this was extremely easy, not messy. And I like that I don't, because I always have to like wet my um, beauty blender first, wash it, etc. So, I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to wash this, but that's exciting. I like it, I think it looks great. It really does, really, really does. So, now I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. And I guess I'll put it right on here. I'm gonna use the same little corner because I noticed that's what a lot of people were doing, just using the same um, section. Am I running low on this? Okay, let's go in with that. Let's put a little. And again, that's what's good about folding it because with a concealer, you just kind of want to get those corners. It's definitely staying on my skin and not like getting wasted in this applicator, which is a good thing. And like, if you feel like you use too much, just go to, just go to another section of the applicator. Really nice. I feel like I put a lot on. You know what it is? I realize now what happened. So, I feel like I have a lot of foundation on, but I realize now, I'm gonna go into a dry spot, see if that does anything. It looks really good, don't get me wrong, but not so much that it looks cakey, but I realize that when you use 
the beauty blender and you put a certain amount of product on, right? A lot of that's going into the beauty blender, so you're wasting a lot. You're not wasting any product using this. And I realize now, I'm just pushing it in so it doesn't look cakey. Not that it looks cakey, but I have more than I would normally use on my face. And again, that's because this did not absorb it at all. So I'm really not wasting any products. So what I have to keep in mind when I use this is to use a lot less than I normally would. And at the end of the day, that's wonderful because I save more product and some of these products are expensive. They pay is too much. Because I use the amount that I always would. I feel like it's a little bit much. So I think I'm gonna have to do another day of this and use less product and see if that makes a difference because my face does look really good on camera. This is really exactly why I wanted to try this because I want to see if this is just mostly for people who wear a lot of makeup, you know, in front of cameras, etc. And because I don't and I like a really natural look. So I'm going to try this again using a lot less than I normally would because that's great. Then I keep more of my product to myself and it lasts longer. So I'll just have to keep that in mind. That's all. I have a cream contour. I usually don't use cream contours, but I'm just going to play with it because I, I believe you can use powder with this too. So let me just try the cream contour. Go to another corner. I mean, that's going on nice, but you know what? I really, I want to try my powder. And I've lately been using this Physician's Formula um, Bronze Booster. I don't know why I like it. I found it. Like, I was using it, and then I kind of stopped. I switched around, and I'm loving it again. So let me try that. So I'm folding this in half around my finger. Flip it upward. Yeah, that works better. I was patting it, which also worked, but. Like, my whole point too is to see if just like someone who's not a makeup artist can do this and still get good results. Honestly, I think when it comes to the bronzer part, I think I do prefer using a brush, but it could just be out of habit. I just feel like the brush is quick. But this looks good too. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. My nose. Yeah. Can't really... I should have used something else for my nose, but... It's okay. My nose looks a little funny. Like, I can't tell if it's red because I'm pushing on it. Am I putting too much on? Yeah. I prefer a brush when it comes to the bronzer. That's all. But everything else worked great. I have a lot of makeup on. I have to test this again tomorrow perhaps with less makeup because up close I do feel a little more on the cakier side than I would prefer. So moving on. I'm going to use my um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is another thing. I, you know it says to use this but I don't use powder the way most 
um, I guess makeup artist, whatever, use powder. I literally just put a little on my brush and I tap it mostly off and I just kind of do that. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Anyway, I'm not one to like apply powder on with a beauty blender, sponge or anything because it's, to me it's just too much and I don't like a lot of powder on. But. Because then I feel like I'm cakey. Even though that looks great on camera, and from a distance, you're probably not agreeing that it looks cakey, but up close, it's cakier. I like use such a little amount of powder, but for me, that's just what I do. So. Okay. okay. What else is there? Um, highlight. I'm gonna put, this is like my everyday highlighter. This is Catrice Highlighter Deluxe, and if I'm going out and about, I have my Becca Opal Highlighter. But I'm going to try to do my everyday highlighter first, see how that works. That looks good, that went on nice. I don't overdo highlighter either. I'm telling you, I don't, I like simple makeup. I like a lot of makeup that doesn't look like a lot of makeup. Okay, that's enough for me. Okay, so. This, um, it went on very easy. My face looks really good. I'm gonna tell you, like it looks really good. The makeup is not creasing. Okay, I uh, my my camera died, so apologies. But um, we didn't miss much of anything. I did go off camera anyway and apply the rest of my makeup. So um, in conclusion, I will say that I want to try this again. So there's more to this video. Stay tuned. I want to try it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow for me but like in about two seconds for you and I want to use more of like my what I use every day and um, a lot less like I use the same amount that I normally would the only thing is again which is a great thing this doesn't soak up the product so you're not wasting any so I just have to keep in mind the same thing happened with Juno is it the Juno sponge the same exact thing happened that didn't suck up product at all and I had to remember to use a lot less with that same thing with this so and again this is great for little touch-ups when you want to in the middle and it's in the middle of the day you want to just kind of fix your face you know push in that makeup get rid of some of that oil and if you start creasing I don't really crease here <laughs> I don't want to say that and jinx myself but um, yeah so this is good little travel it's perfectly in the little bag um, but I'm gonna try it because I am my face looks amazing like if I from here I'm sure on the camera it looks great let me see if I can get it on my other camera up close I don't know oh this is a little up close isn't it but I don't know if you can see that it looks kind of cakey here this is like awkwardly up close um, yeah, like right here, I don't know, I'm trying to get it where the light's not, I don't know if you could see, but my skin, it does look good, I'm not going to lie. It's just, um, it does look great, it's so easy to go in with the one, um, I think just with the bronzer I prefer to use a brush because I'm all about quick, 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 and I just have to either learn to play with it because it did come out nice and natural looking. Like, even though I put too much on in one spot, I don't know if you remember that, I was able to smudge it out, and that worked great. And it didn't transfer, like, one product didn't transfer on. It, whatever I was using at the moment is what went on. The highlight went on really nice. This is, like, really great. And especially great if you're traveling and you're packing. I don't know about you, but when I go away and I gotta pack all my brushes and this and that, it's annoying. And if I could just, like, pack this one thing with me to apply most of my face makeup and only have maybe, I bet this 
even works for eyeshadow application. I didn't even think of it. Like, use this guy. I wonder, right? That probably will work for that as well. But um, if I could just take this tiny little thing, which is like I could fold up this big if I want, that is amazing in itself. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go wash this, and hopefully it'll dry by tomorrow so I can test it again. But easy to use, looks great, flawless, definitely no lines. You know, when you use a brush, as I said before, you don't get anything. It's just, it goes on smooth. Uh, yeah, I really like it a lot. I'm glad I purchased it. And it was only $18, by the way. So you're not spending a lot of money, which is great because the Beauty Blender is like $20. And I'm going to tell you something, mine falls apart all the time. Like, I guess, I mean, you have to wash it though all the time, right? But it definitely falls apart in little pieces. Yeah, so that is annoying. And okay, so let's stay tuned and see the second half of this with using a lot less makeup and see how it comes out. Okay, so see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's not the next day yet. However, I just wanted to jump on here quickly because um, every time I look in the mirror, my face, my skin, my makeup looks like it was airbrushed. It's beautiful. And I have to assume it's from the um, applicator because I've used the combination of the foundation, the whatever, and it looks good, but something about this today, my face looks airbrushed. Really does. Yes, I feel like it's a little too much, but again, that's my fault. So I'm curious to try this tomorrow. I really am. Because again, like literally, really, Wow, I'm really impressed. So, let's see how it looks tomorrow. Again, for you only in a few minutes. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, it's the next day and I used the applicator with um, my Dior foundation. And um, at first I, I used my um, CoverGirl Clean because I really do use it a lot, it looks amazing. And I wanted to try that with more an ex a more ex inexpensive product, but then and then I want to try the other side with my Dior because I love that too. That's my favorite foundation, the Dior. Bless you, the Dior Backstage. And but then when I was doing it, I realized the Dior was darker than the CoverGirl, so I just went with the Dior. But um, and I did apply the rest of my makeup using that. I used the concealer. I applied powder I just kind of like puffed my powder on like a powder puff with using the applicator and then I did use it for my bronzer um, again I feel like I prefer the brush I think it's just a matter of getting used to using it with bronzer um, but yeah so and I will say I think my I think it came out good it didn't look cakey as you can see it doesn't look cakey like it did um, yesterday up close far away my face looked flawless yesterday like airbrushed flawless today my face looks good it doesn't look um, cakey at all I don't think it looks cakey at all it applied well it didn't leave any streaks yeah so I do like this product a lot and I will be using it I did wash it um, I washed it after each time I used it and at first I feel like it took a little more effort to get um, the foundation out of it. I have like a cleaner for brushes. I thought I would use that, but then I went in with some soap. But eventually, it got. It's not going to get 100% clean. I understand that because honestly, my beauty blenders are all stained. No matter how much I try and get it out, I could. It it says to put it in the wash washing machine in like you know those little netting. What do you call those? You know those little net bags, I guess, where you put like say lingerie whatever in and um yeah so i could try that but this is fine as long as it cleans it all out and when i'm rinsing it nothing else comes out to me that's clean um you know if it stains a little that's fine um yeah so this is really good again extremely handy if you're traveling and you don't want to bring a whole bunch of brushes and all that and you just gotta you just can bring this one little thing that you know squeezes into a tiny little ball so it does make my face look really good. The skin, the foundation application, I will definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, and for the price, it's 18 bucks. It's cheaper than a beauty blender. So I really did like it. I, it, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, 
I'm happy that uh, Tati created this applicator because it's really great. Good to her. good for her. Thank you, Tati. And um, that's it. So I'm gonna end this video here. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and um, I'll leave the link below if you want to purchase. And that's it. So until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.